You're watching ABC 5 News at 10. An Iowan credited with feeding the world is set to get his dues in Washington, D.C. tomorrow. A statue of the late Norman Borlaug will be unveiled in Statuary Hall. Tonight, a gathering of dignitaries from all around the world got together to honor Dr. Borlaug before the big day. A mix of Washington elite and a whole lot of Iowans attended the reception at the National Press Club. Governor Branstad, the statue's sculptor, and a handful of Iowa farmers all expressed their excitement. The fuss is about him and about what he did. And all these important people that are in this room are part of that and, and uh, realize the importance of what this man did for the world. It's just a fantastic, fantastic thing. Tonight's reception was put on by the Iowa Farm Bureau, the World Food Prize, and the Iowa Department of Cultural Affairs, all of whom have been working for years to get a Borlaug statue to Washington. ABC 5's Abraham Swee has more from our nation's capital. Three years ago, the state of Iowa decided to replace one of its sculptures. We only get two, so it had to be worth the space and face time. In Norman Borlaug, they found an easy sell. He really became the most significant agricultural scientist I think, in all history. Ambassador Ken Quinn heads the Norman Borlaug Statue Committee. He's not the only one, though, who thinks Norm deserving of accolades. It makes all the sense to me that we actually have someone in that statuary hall dedicated to American agriculture. After a show of support from the Iowa legislature, Quinn and his team set out to find a sculptor. It's like the, you know, state playoffs and you know basketball with the quarterfinals and then the semifinals. Oh gosh, it was months. I mean, we, we were literally like it was all I could think about. They narrowed it all the way down to Benjamin Victor. He had a passion for Dr. Borlaug, who he had never heard of before our proposal. But the more he read about him, the more enthralled he became, the more engaged he became. For months, Victor worked making scale models, a maquette, a full-size clay model, the work was not easy. Get the blinders on and work and really try to do my best on the piece and then let the rest stand where it may. Eventually, it was time to make the final copy, one deserving of the U.S. Capitol. It's a media that's going to outlast all of us, and so you hope to have a subject that's worthy of that. And with Norman Borlaug, of course, I do have that subject. The committee had a plan. They wanted to unveil their statue on Norm's 100th birthday. Oh, they laughed at us. They were nice. They said, well... You know, that's a very ambitious schedule, and these approvals take a long time. They work fast, reaching their goal, helping Norm make his ultimate return to Washington. The last time Borlaug was in Statuary Hall, he received the Congressional Medal of Freedom. They sang his favorite song, the Iowa Corn Song. As Norm returns for a more permanent home in the Capitol, they'll sing it once more. Simon Estes will do the honor singing Norm's favorite song. He'll be joined by many familiar faces, including Speaker of the House John Boehner and Borlaug family members. We are expecting a very packed house. In Washington, Abraham Sweet, ABC5 News. Thank you, Abraham. And local restaurants are helping to honor Borlaug's life as well. We scoped out Fong's Pizza today where they're offering a Norman Borlaug roll. The manager showed us how to make it. We just... I kind of figured cramming as many veggies as we can would be honorable of Mr. Borlaug. I had the ha the cheeseburger egg rolls the last time I was here in January, and these are even better than those, and those so are good. Heads. Alba in the East Village also served up a special dish based on Borlaug's time working with wheat jeans in Mexico. It features bulgur wheat in an avocado dish. Well, Joey is